how are you folks? Super Score 108 here, making a great video. Uh, we just seen upset Tomas Burdich beats Rafael Nadal in the Australian Open quarterfinal 2015. 6 2 6 0 oh, 7 6. A nail biting match, especially in the last set. So, um, Burdich got off to a great start. I'm going to go over the keys that Burdich did to win the match. First of all, Burdich serving extremely well, you know, playing out of his mind. Just serving um, to the corners, you know, he would be hitting the spots in the corner, down the line, uh, in all areas. He wouldn't really serve into the body much. He would mostly just serve out wide to get Rafa in a bad position. He exposed Rafa's return. Rafa has, I think, one of the, one of the weaker returns in the top ten. Um, he hit, I usually, typically dropped it short. Birds would move up immediately at the ball. Rafa would usually, usually drop the ball around these areas of the court, you know, around the service line, maybe even a little bit further in the service line. And... Burdish would take this ball, Burdish would move up immediately, and he would attack that ball and place it right deep in the corners. Um, and for, he would even, like, he, he wouldn't even hit the line. It would literally sometimes even be in the middle of the court like this. And Rafa just had no response because the ball was just too, too well struck, too flat. Just, he had no chance of getting to it. So I think Rafa's really weakness was... Um, not attacking the returns enough. I mean, Birch was serving great, but Rafa really needed to change his strategy in the return. He really didn't. I mean, all he really does is stand farther back, which is, isn't always the best option because that just increases the ability uh, for the, the chance of him getting ace. So, um, but Rafa started to come back in the final set. Um, he started to play a little bit better. Uh, hit his forehand. Hit the Birch's forehand a lot. So what Rafa would do, well, he's the black marker for Rafa is he would start to go to Burge's forehand. So he would run around his forehand um, in this position, and he would attack and really direct it towards this area of the court, um, pushing Burge, catching Burge off guard, because he would mostly go across court. And he would also um, start hitting his backhand a little bit more down the line as well. So Rafa started to really hit the down the line spots a little bit better. Didn't really see much of a change from his serve, maybe a slightly higher first serve percentage. But overall, he was just being more consistent, hitting deeper balls, and obviously just grinding more. I think in the first two sets, not only did Burge outplay him, but Rafa was trying to go for a little bit too much, you know, because Burge was, trying to, was kind of forcing him into, into, that, um, into that realm as well. I'm a little bit disappointed to see Nadal go out. Um, I wanted to see um, Nadal go into the semis in the final, because uh, I think he, he, he makes for a more entertaining match. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Burge. I didn't really want to see him play, but, I mean, congratulations to him for winning this match. It's a fantastic win. Um, so, as we can see, Burdich will now face, um, he faces, I think it's, he faces someone in the quarterfinal, so, it's going to be a fantastic tournament, for sure. I think Djokovic now clearly has the win. Uh, I think, I'm oh, sorry, I think he plays Murray. So, um, definitely tough, gotta say. Um, Andy Murray, I mean, he, sorry, he plays the winner of Kyrie Kyrgios and Murray, which I'll make it next year. Probably going to be Murray. Hopefully it's curious, but I, I can even pick Birch to win that match. I, I would pick Birch as the favorite now. I would be close to the final. He's been playing fantastic tennis. He beat, he beat um, um, Tomic in straight sets. Um, he's just been playing fantastic. Murray's been playing well, but not as well as I'd hope. So I definitely think the favorite goes to Birch this year to make the final. Djokovic, I think, obviously will make the final as well and take out Birch in four sets. That's my prediction, but fantastic tennis from for both players, I really think that it's important you can, to see the patterns of play here. Bird is really attacking the serve, moving vertical movement was fantastic, moving quickly up to every ball, attacking the ball, placing it deep in the corners, flat, penetrating. Rafa had no chance of getting it. Rafa was too defensive um, in, 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 for the most part, and he was sometimes too offensive. He had a bad mixture of both. Um, throughout the match, I just think that he wasn't as confident. You could really see that he didn't want to be on the court. I saw a little bit of a glimpse in his eye. You know, he wasn't too wasn't too happy to be out there, and just seemed a little depressed. You know, unmotivated in the first two sets. Even in the beginning of the second set, the third set, he seemed unmotivated until like he started to see some opportunities, and that's when he really he stepped up his game. He actually almost had the set. He had a couple of love thirty chances on Burge's serve, and the tie break. He came back down five one to make it four five. Missed the missed the ball, and then Burge um. Uh, he just missed a return. So I think Rafa, the real problem was the serve. He couldn't deal with Burge's serve. He didn't serve well enough himself, but he dropped the returns too short. And Burge just took advantage of all that. Burge was playing solid, you know. Hitting cross-court forehands, backhands, flat, his backhand, just playing strategically, not overhitting the ball. A uh, very similar style to we see Djokovic in his quarter play. You know, just, he would, he would rip it when he had the chance, but it wasn't. It was very planned, very controlled, so... 
I'm happy to see someone new kind of like emerge now. So seems as though Rafa was just playing weak. But anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win the Australian Open. Um, I'm still picking Djokovic as the favorite. Obviously, Nadal has a great um, has a good chance. For, uh, we're going to pick him for the French Open. We'll see how his clay court season goes and if he recovers from this loss. But definitely a big win for Birch because Birch has never really uh, beaten the Don in the major. It's been 17 times in a row that he's lost. And Rafa was actually going to become the first player in the open air to win and beat a player 18 times in a row. So um, I think it's very interesting that that happened. Um, it was a great match. Um, I thought it was very interesting towards the end. But overall, it wasn't that great of a match. Birch destroyed him 6-love in the second set. And it was just obliterated. I don't remember the last time Rafa lost a set 6-love. So it was a little demoralizing. But at the same time... Good to see somebody new win for sure, um, but good for Rafa. I mean, good for Burdich. It was it was a very very good confidence booster for him. Even though I'm not a huge fan, it's good to see someone someone new in the mix. But I would have loved to see Rafa. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, have a good day.